Okay, so this is the end of our course. And the last thing I want to show you is how to um, understand color separations. And the best way I can think of to do it, other than taking you down to a print shop and showing you exactly how they do it, uh, which I have to tell you is not a bad idea. You really should ask your printer for a little demonstration of how the presses work and how they make separations. It'll be a wonderful education for you. So to begin with, what I'd like to do is have you make a rectangle. And a square would be nice, so hold down your Shift key. And if you don't have your swatches open, please open them now. And we'll do a cyan first. And it's OK if it has a black stroke on it. OK, so let's take this, overlap the first rectangle you made. And there's a reason I'm asking you to do this. And let's make the next one magenta. And let's repeat that. But this time, let's make this yellow. And let's repeat that again. But this time, let's make it black. OK. So now we have cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Let's select these. And let's go to the, oh, let's see, where is that? Um, the separations. Preview. Okay, there it is. Okay. So let's go to Overprint Preview. Okay. All right. First thing let's do, let's turn off everything but one color. Okay. And deselect. This is what the separation would look like with just the cyan. Okay, let's do this again. This time, take off the cyan and let's put on the magenta. You see, remember we overlapped, so what's ever on top will be there, and the other color knocks it out. Okay, let's select these all again, and let's go to yellow. There we have yellow. Okay. Let's select these all again. And let's go do black. Now remember, we had a black outline on all of our rectangles, so that shows up. Okay, let's put these all back on again. And the next thing I'd like you to do is Go to your swatches, and let's go open a PMS book. So let's go to Open Swatch Library and Color Books, and let's do Pantone Solid Coated. Okay. And let's pick a green or any other color that's not a process color. Okay. So a brown, it could be an orange, but let's do green. Okay, so I'll just choose this one here. And here's our color up here. And you see, when I chose it, it also came into the swatches. And I'm going to make a, another rectangle, but with the PMS color. Okay, so now you see on the separations we have a another color. So when we turn off all of these, this is what we have. So we will have a separate plate just for that. But I want you to do 
one more thing. I want you to take this and make a copy of it. But this time I want you to take this color here and go to Edit and Edit Colors. And remember we did this a few weeks back and convert it to CMYK. All right, now I want you to really zoom in on that here. Okay. And I want you to examine these two. This is our PMS. This is our conversion to CYMK. You can see they're slightly different. This seems to be a little darker. So you're not going to have exactly the same color, but it will be pretty close. So now let's see what happens when we go to our color separation. Um, let's take away, um, let's see, well, let's see what colors are in it first. Uh, let's go to um, our color guy, our color here, okay. So you see it has cyan and yellow. So let's turn off the um, magenta and the black, okay, and you can see, and the Pantone, okay, and you can see that this has these colors in it. Okay, let's just turn off the cyan. Ah, see, look at that, it's got the yellow in it, and let's turn off the yellow. Ah, you see the cyan in there. Okay, so I hope that explains to you a little better how the color separations work. Now, I'm going to turn these all back on again. And unfortunately, this, okay, there we go. We've got that on too. So when you go to print, you go to File and Print. And, you know, you can go through all of these things. If you have a specific printer, you know, if you want to do a um, PDF or um, some other kind of printing, you can do that. You can put in your um, marks and your bleeds, and I'll put your, um, put your output here, where you're going to uh, put it to, and which, whether the motion will read up and down. Um, but, you know, let's go to color management because, you know, we talked about that in the video. And here's some advanced, you know, whether you have overprints and stuff like that. And this makes up a summary of what gets sent. So I'm going to cancel this. And one other thing I want to show you. Um, I looked all over and could not find a um, register mark for um, Adobe. Um, it, it just didn't put them on. So what I'm going to do is show you how to make a register. So you take off your fill here and just take your stroke. And I'm going to make a small circle. Okay. And right now it's just black. Okay, and I'm going to take this black and come to my color here and make it 100% black, 100% magenta, and 100% cyan. Okay, then I'll take my pen and make a mark here and hold down my shift key, make it perfect. And then I will select this and go to the Rotation tool and Alt-click on the center and rotate it 90 degrees and make a copy. Okay. 
Okay. I'm just gonna up a little bit on that. And I'll just move that up. Okay, so there is a register mark. And each of these has 100% each of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black in, uh, in them. And I'm going to group this and put a registration mark on four areas of my artwork. And now, watch, when we do this, you see the cyan will show up, I mean the magenta will show up for the magenta. The black, yellow will show up for the yellow. The black will show up for the black. And the cyan will show up for the cyan. So I hope this helps. And I hope you know you can always email me if you have a problem. So thank you and goodbye and good luck to you.